Hello, a quick one today about uploading files. So we're going to use Hono framework on Cloudflare workers, and then we'll connect to R2 Cloudflare storage to save the, the, the object. So I've already generated a simple template. Uh, so if you want to do the same, you can run um, npm uh, create and then use Hono latest and uh, your uh, project name. So you'll have something like that. Uh, then you need to replace, uh, rename uh, index TS uh, to TSX to support um, inline uh, JSX. And then uh, we have this form. So after that, I can run npm run dev, and it will start a local server. If I go here and refresh, uh, you see this page. So now we have a simple form. Uh, the form is configured with... Um, a method post uh, action will be uh, upload and then we need to set uh, encoding type to multi-part form data and inside the form we just have an input uh, field with a type file then you need an id and file name uh, like name of the input and this is the name we'll use to get our file from a request and then just like a button to to upload so to create a handler uh, for uh, the post, we can just grab this snippet um, and put it right here. So we have a new handler to upload method this post. And then inside, we just use a request and we do parse body. Uh, so after that, uh, what we can do is we can uh, get our file by uh, file name. Uh, and this is ID that we got right here. So uh, let's save this thing and uh, we can try upload something. So I have like this small uh, image. I can open that and click upload. So we have um, 404, but that's fine because we don't have any response here. But the most important thing is that in the logs, we now see this file and we have uh, the metadata, the name, the size, etc. So now we can, we can work with that uh, file uh, and uh, I want to connect uh, Cloudflare R2 uh, storage. So what we want to check here, let's say, uh, so we will do file and maybe let's F and um, we get it from body. So it will be body um, and file name here. And then we want to check if uh, file, uh, if file and um, file is type of instance of file uh, because th that could be string uh, we only want to cover a case where uh, f is, is a file inside inside the body so let's say console.log um, uploading file to r2 and then we'll put our uploading logic inside let's save this and re rest try uh, once again browse files new file upload uh, so yeah we, we have our now log here the next thing that we want to do is we want to use this tool called wrangler uh, which is the cli tool to work with cloudflare infrastructure and we do uh, wrangler bucket and then first of all we can check list but it should return empty list for me because i don't have any buckets now so after that, I can do create and then a bucket name uh, to store the objects. Yeah, now you see that the bucket was created. And here, um, we want to add a new type uh, for the bindings. So it will be type bindings, and then it will be uh, hono um, r2. Uh, upload that's how I want to bind it and then it will be r2 uh, bucket and then we can put it as a generic inside our Hona app so we have a correct um, correct types bindings it's fine so after that uh, we'll have an access to our bucket right here so it will be await and dot um, hono um, no c dot env dot hono r to upload 
So this is uh, our bucket and then we have put and here we need to provide a key for, for that file. So let's say um, test image not png and then we can just literally use f here and it will work uh, and um, just after that let's print something like completed and that's it so uh, the other thing that we want to do is we want to op uh, open our wrangler.toml file and you want to put this block right here. So the binding name is what we used in our uh, uh, bindings type. And um, the bucket name is the name that we created. And this will work in local development environment as well. Uh, if we, we start our app with uh, in dev mode, uh, it will automatically uh, connect, like create like a local version of our two bucket. Uh, and we can use that. So if we run run dev right here, uh, we should see now that uh, our local worker has access to our two buckets. This is the name of the bucket. And uh, after that, here in the state, we see this R2. Currently it's empty. Uh, but if we go back here and try it once again, uh, so we browse, uh, open, upload. Uh, now we see that we have a new thing created here and it was successfully stored. So that's uh, about local. Uh, let's just try quickly npm run deploy. And this will uh, deploy our new worker into uh, Cloudflare. Yep, uh, so this is the URL of the deployment. Uh, we can go there and also this is my uh, account. Uh, if I refresh, we now should see uh, our new bucket that we just created, and there is no ob no objects. So if we go here, go to browse, um, and select this thing and upload. Uh, go back right here, and we see that we created our image inside our R2 bucket in in real deployment so that's uh, how you do file uploads um, but probably if you want to work with images uh, there is a separate uh, specific tool for cloudflare images uh, that you can use instead of r2 and there's like a storage and you can store different types of images and also it supports different transformations, etc so for images that's probably the right way to go but anyway it's useful to, to know how to work with files in this environment so yeah that that's it um thanks a lot for watching uh i hope it was useful don't forget to like subscribe and leave comments um and see you next video bye bye